Hello, happy people. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at another short story in the uh, Margaret St. Clair short story collection that we've been taking a look of, the best of. Uh, so far, all of the short stories in this collection are science fiction, and this one is too. Um, it's called The Pillows. It's my fifth short story I've read by uh, Margaret St. Clair, which is in this collection. Um, it's the fifth short story in this collection, um, and it's my favorite one so far, and I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10. I love it. I think it's really strong. Uh, and basically what winds up happening uh, in this short story uh, is that um, we have a few characters in the future. Um, and in this future, the solar system uh, that we are, has been inhabited, we, we got colonies in Mercury and Venus, and we've, we've got expeditions to Triton, uh, which will be a key location and key thing that happens uh, during this thing. Um, and there is this commercial product that is c called Pillows, um, which is some sort of an alien thing. Um, and this alien thing, uh, which is mined um, on Triton, uh, is basically the key sort of element of this story. And we're going to have an expedition to Triton. Uh, we're going to follow along with, with an actual mining expedition. And then we're going to find out what the pillows actually are. And that's the short story in a nutshell. The short story is about 14 pages long, which is the same length as the previous one. Um, it took me about a half an hour uh, for me to knock it out last night for the first time. Margaret St. Clair is on the Appendix N by Gary Kagax, which is how I heard of her. Um, she started publishing uh, her first works um, in uh, 1445. And this short story, according to the collection here, was published in 1950 by Thrilling Wonder uh, Magazine, which I've never heard of before, but there you are. The Thrilling Wonder Magazine uh, by, in 1950, five years after she got started. Now this is, uh, I think this collection is probably in chronological order because the first one was 47. Then we had a couple of 49s, uh, and now this one's 50. Uh, so I suspect this collection is not in a uh, story order or genre order, but just in chronological order uh, based on what, what I've seen so far. I'll link you to this collection below in case you're interested in checking out this 1950 short story called The Pillows. Uh, it's fairly creepy, uh, and Margaret St. Clair came to my attention again because she's on the Appendix N by Gary, Gary Gygax, is one of these hugely influential people uh, for the early Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and he has this appendix in the 1979 first edition of the Dungeon Master's Guide um, in which he lists uh, places that he got re he got inspiration um, as well as places that he goes to uh, for. Um, so this is in, mentioned in the appendix N which lists a bunch of influences for the early uh, Dungeons and Dragons. It's also a place to go to for, ins for inspirational reading uh, for folks that are interested in finding things uh, that they can use uh, in their own gaming. Um, and so far all the short stories in this one have been science fiction, uh, but ideally hopefully I'll find some that are in a fantasy genre because again that's that's where the sort of this, the, the inspiration hit. Um, that also happened to me when I read a best of collection by Lee Brackett who's also uh, a heavily published author uh, who has the best of collection and all of those short stories are part of this sword and planet style of writing which is a science fiction and so uh, I found that to be the case too with Lee Brackett, who was a heavily influential writer um, in the early days of D&D of, of &D, uh, and thus through D&D &D, uh, in modern fantasy stories like comics and books and movies and television shows uh, and games uh, and, and all sorts of media. Uh, in the last 20 for the 30 years uh, that have been heavily influenced by the Dungeons and Dragons and thus one of the things that influenced it. Um, so I'm still interested in trying to find out, you know, where the sort of, sort of these, uh, you know, influences came from uh, and try, try to try to sort of direct that path and so forth. But again, all these things have so far have been science fiction. Um, but there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you read it. Have you read the creepy uh, uh, short story, The Pillows? It's really strong. And again, I'm giving it 8 out of 10. It's my favorite short story I've read by Margaret St. Clair so far. But again, it's only five short stories. <laughs> again, I'll link you to the collection in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button. Uh, there's a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing in watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. Thanks again and have an amazing day.